Welcome to the demonstration of the Microsoft Assessment and Planning Toolkit. In this demo, we'll show how you use the Microsoft Assessment and Planning Toolkit, or the MAP Toolkit, to streamline and simplify your migration to Windows 7 and the latest Windows Internet Explorer browser. Using MAP, you can perform a complete assessment of your organization's hardware readiness for Windows 7 in a matter of hours. MAP provides comprehensive reports to show you which of your PCs are already ready for Windows 7, which are not, and exactly what you have to do to fully prepare your hardware for a Windows 7 migration. As part of Windows 7 deployment, it is important to understand deployed web browsers' compatibility with Windows 7. MAP's Internet Explorer assessment examines currently installed web browsers and provides comprehensive details for Windows 7 readiness planning. It's important to know that MAP can also help you in planning for the Microsoft Office 2010, Windows Server 2008 R2 Hyper-V Private Cloud, and the Windows Azure platform. In this demo, let's assume that your organization is moving to Windows 7. From previous research, you know there are a number of different PC hardware configurations in place across the organization, as well as PCs running various web browsers. Some divisions are running Windows Vista, while others are still running Windows XP. Your web browser environment includes legacy browsers such as Internet Explorer 6 or 7 and other third-party browsers. The questions you have to answer are which of your PCs are capable of running Windows 7 in their current configuration, which PCs need to be upgraded, and for those PCs needing upgrades, exactly what do we have to do to prepare them for Windows 7? Let's see how we can use MAP to answer these questions quickly, easily, and accurately. Here we are in the MAP tool, and our first step is to perform an inventory of the organization's heterogeneous IT infrastructure. The data we'll gather in the hardware inventory is stored in a SQL Server database that comes with the MAP toolkit. To house this inventory data, we'll select an existing database called Demo, as you see here, and complete this step. Now, let's begin our hardware inventory assessment. MAP includes a built-in wizard that makes gathering this data quick and easy. The wizard begins by asking you which MAP inventory scenarios you're interested in. The inventory scenario determines the appropriate collector technology. In this demo, we're telling MAP to inventory Windows-based computers. In a similar way, the wizard then takes us through the rest of the inventory process. Depending on the network size and the number of computers inventoried, this process takes from just a few minutes to a few hours. For the purposes of this demo, we'll skip the rest of those steps and go directly to the analysis of the inventory results. To look at our results, we just expand the Discovery and Readiness tab and click on Windows 7 Readiness. When we do this, MAP displays a summary of Windows 7 Readiness results of this organization. As you can see from the green slice of our pie chart, 93 of our PCs are ready for Windows 7. The yellow slice shows us that 56 PCs are not ready. What this means is all of our PCs are either ready for Windows 7 right now, or they will be able to run Windows 7 if we perform necessary hardware upgrades. Finally, notice that we have insufficient data on some PCs. This result is probably due to a connection or a configuration issue with those PCs, which MAP can help us identify. Scrolling down, we can also see what our results would be if we upgrade those PCs that aren't ready. As you can see, they would all be ready at that point to run Windows 7. MAP also provides a device compatibility summary that tells us exactly what hardware upgrades are necessary to prepare them for Windows 7. MAP presents this data in the form of a formal report and proposal. Let's take a quick look at this useful feature. As we'll see, the assessment proposal contains summary level information that's based on the unique hardware infrastructure of this organization. And here's a summary of our readiness assessment and the hardware analysis. As we scroll down, we see some of the same data we reviewed within the MAP tool. Here is a discussion on the recommended hardware upgrades that allow those 56 PCs to run Windows 7. And here's a detailed analysis of the operating systems our PCs are currently running. MAP even provides a set of next steps we should take as we prepare for Windows 7 migration planning. Now, let us review another, even more detailed set of information that MAP provides. 
This Excel workbook provides detailed information about every inventory computer in our network. For each computer listed in column A, we can determine whether the machine meets the requirements for running Windows 7 or not. For example, the computers listed on rows 36 and 37 do not meet the minimum required disk space for Windows 7. MAP also provides a summary of the device drivers inventoried, including their upgrade readiness for Windows 7. So far, we have showed you how you can plan for Windows 7 deployment using MAP's Hardware Readiness Assessment feature. As part of Windows 7 deployment, it is important to identify the web browsers deployed in the environment and their compatibility with Windows 7. MAP's Internet Explorer Assessment examines the currently installed browsers and provides comprehensive details for Windows 7 readiness planning. Let's review this feature by clicking the Internet Explorer Discovery tab. Here, MAP shows an inventory of web browsers in this enterprise. The Web Browser Summary lists the count of each type of browser deployed in our environment. As we scroll down, we see information on Internet Explorer add-ons, including version numbers, install count, and use count. This information is important in understanding the web browser usage and add-ons compatibility with Windows 7. MAP presents the browser inventory data in a formal report and proposal. Now let's review the IE migration proposal by clicking Generate Report Proposal tab. This proposal contains both summary level information on default browsers, installed browsers including third-party versions, ActiveX controls, and applications. Here is the summary of the web browser assessment. And here in Table 2, we see the installed browsers and the corresponding operating system. This data indicates that Internet Explorer 8 is the most widely used default browser in our environment. You can use this data in standardizing the latest IE browser as the default in your Windows 7 environment. Scrolling down, MAP shows comprehensive details on the ActiveX controls deployed in the environment, the browser helper objects, and the IE toolbars. Now that we have the results of the Internet Explorer migration assessment, you can use this data in planning for Windows 7 and the latest Internet Explorer deployment across the enterprise. MAP also generates a more detailed Excel workbook version of our Internet Explorer report. Let us review this report. Detailed information on the web browser, client, and add-on details are accessible from the tabs at the bottom of the workbook. To wrap up this demo, in a matter of hours, you can use MAP's free tools to generate a complete inventory of your IT infrastructure and a detailed assessment of hardware and web browser readiness of an organization's migration to Windows 7 and the latest version of Internet Explorer browser. Ready to take the next step? Join the hundreds of thousands of other customers who are using MAP to streamline their migration to Windows 7 and the latest Internet Explorer browser. Be sure to check out the other solution accelerators for Windows 7 deployment. Freely available and fully supported by Microsoft, MAP works with the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit and the Security Compliance Manager to help you plan, securely deploy, and manage new Microsoft technologies easier, faster, and at less cost. Thanks for watching this demo.